excluded is the name of the absence of name. And market is a symmetrical of exclude because it's a worldly name of what is not a word. The question of contemporary nihilism, including its ties to the philosophic reassertion of enjoyment, can then be formulated where lie the names, where lie the names with which logic will make the world to come. Philosophy, in my conviction, has no other legitimate aim except to help find the new names. Help find the new names. It's a vocation, the philosophical vocation. The new names that will bring into existence the unknown world, the world that is only waiting for us because we are waiting for it. In a play written in his youth, the title of which is Emperor and Galilean, the Norwegian writer Henrik Ibsen presents the story of Julian the Apostate. So named because he wanted to restore paganism after Constantine, after the conversion of the Roman Empire to Christianity. And according to Ibsen, Julien the Apostate, hesitating between the aesthetics coming from the Greeks and the revelation of the Christians, declares magnificently, I quote, the whole beauty is no longer beautiful and the new truth is no yet true. What is the present time for us? A time in which former politics has no longer acted <coughs> and in which the new politics experiment with some difficulty its truth. We are the experimenters of the interval. We are between two worlds, and it is why we are no worlds at all. We are between two worlds, one of which is falling little by little into oblivion, while the other is only fragmentary. What we have to do is pass through. We are passers. We create by fragments a politics without fetishes, not even above all the democratic fetish. And also we create by fragments the new beauty, the new science derived from the domination of capitalistic technique, and the new law, which is neither the romantic fusion nor the cynical nihilism of a contract between two bodies. We can find an imperative in the prophetic play Jean Genet, the play the title of which is Le Balcon, The Balcony. In this play, in The Balcony, one of the characters, a rebel, an insurgent, declares I quote, how can we approach liberty, the people, virtue, and how can we love them if we magnify them, if we render them untouchable? They must be left in their living reality. Let there be poems and images prepared, which do not satisfy, but irritate. Quote, hand of quotation. Let us prepare then, if we know how to, but we always do know a bit, those poems and those images. 
Judith Balso and Michel de Guy have here established for you the fundamental function of the Greek poets of the last century. Pessoa, Krakow, Mandelstam, Stevens, Pasolini, Seven, and others. Because there has been and there have across the diversity of languages and the universal affirmation of poetry, the keepers of the possibility of the world. After them and with their help, we have to find the means to name the obscurity of the new forms of our freedom. We have to create new concepts, as Deleuze was saying, and finally to create the reception of a new experience of enjoyment. Not exactly maybe enjoyment in the sense of French jouissance, but a variety of meanings. With concepts of politics, we can experiment enthusiasm, the enthusiasm of collective determination. With concepts of mathematics, for example, we can experiment pure joy in the sense of Spinoza, the pure joy of the understanding of a complex proof, of the enlightenment of a problem. And with concepts of art, we can experiment pleasure, the pleasure of a new existence of sensible things. And with concepts of love, we can experiment happiness, the happiness of the becoming two of the one. We have to define philosophically our rupture with leftist enjoyment and with rightist enjoyment. And we shall have in place of the sadness of the inexistence of the world a new collection of names. Find, create a new collection of names. That is the joy. Names for joy, for enthusiasm, for pleasure and for happiness. New names, new world, and finally new subjects. As you can see, good news. Thank you. <laughs>